Hi everyone, it's Greg Allen, founder of Response Fire and Electrical, and today we're going to be answering this question that came through, which is, how can I use a time clock to save on electricity costs? Now, I don't know if you've seen the other uh, video that we did on the cost of appliances um, and how to reduce the electricity cost by managing your appliances, um, but I think this stemmed out of that and we mentioned how you can use time clocks to manage the electricity usage so you don't have to manually think about it all the time. Uh, and your time clock will just turn on and off throughout the day um, so that you're not overusing your lights or your appliances that are costing you a lot of money. Now I want to go through each one of these types of um, time clocks just to show you what's available and how you can utilize time clocks to save a lot of money on your electricity usage. Uh, so first of all is the first one, it's, it's a light switch, uh, it can be used for any um, 10 amp outlet or anything that's under 10 amps and it can be set up so that you can have your lights turn on say at 6 o'clock at night when it gets dark and turn off at 8, uh, especially if it, you're in a strata complex, these are great for light fittings uh, where you've got common lighting. Uh, so what you can actually do is turn it on from a certain period to another period instead of a daylight switch which will stay on all night until the morning and then you're paying for those lights to be on all night. So you get the high traffic times uh, and you turn it on at that time and on it off at that time and you can set it up however you want it to be. It doesn't have to be on one time, off one time, you can have multiple times it turns on and off throughout the day as well. Uh, it will be the same time every day though. Now you can get digital versions of these as well, but just so you know that's available, that's all good. Now the next one you set up in your switchboard. So what you do with these ones is you can isolate an entire circuit um, for a certain amount of time. So another example would be the common lighting and strata or your hot water system. So if you only ever use your hot water system and it's a storage between you know, 6 and 8 in the morning and maybe uh, 5 and 7 at night, then you can set up time windows where your, your water will heat up and it will actually uh, only allow the heater to turn on in those periods of time. Um, so that's something you might want to consider as well to save energy. If you've got a solar hot water system, uh, you can turn off the booster with a time clock as well. Now if you want to be a bit more um, diligent in your appliances such as a heater that you plug into the wall, you can get something like that last one over there where you can plug that in first and then plug your heater into it and that will turn the time, uh, it will time it and it will turn the power on and off depending on the time allocated. So something like um, you can turn on the heater in the morning so when you get up for, for breakfast the, the room is already heated um, and then it turns off at, automatically at 9 o'clock because you've gone to work and it turns on at 4 so it's ready for when you come home at 5 if you're used to having your power on. Uh, heating all day long. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an understanding but I welcome any other questions uh, on other things that you can use. Another example is your pool pump. You don't want that running all the time so you can set that up with uh, on off time clock as well. Uh, usually they're built into the control of those so that's all good. Uh, if you have any questions about this let me know and we'll put them up and looking forward to the next session with you and have a fantastic day.